object oriented programming programming when you talk about op generally we call it as op i hear people saying oops sometimes but uh, generally it's op object oriented program we don't have oops actually i don't know actually what is that s actually in convention people different people call with different names but what i observe is uh, i call generally or what i had seen in official documentation object oriented programming that's all do you understand that yes now the question is what is an op let me just ask you a quick question suppose if i ask you about uh, a superhero then you describe about this guy with some features when i say superhero some of you has imagined batman he man hitman otherwise uh, some other mans are there recently women also came on roman so when it when i say superhero you imagine somebody in the mind or spider man something like that then the question is uh, what did you imagine about that superhero you just think about two things one is dress code most of you would have imagined about the dress code two second one second thing is uh, you are thought about uh, his powers isn't it or not even if i have special dress code if i have some powers even i am superhero isn't it or not even you are just mean i even you similarly op there are different programming languages so many like procedure oriented or structure oriented and object oriented in this way there are different uh, programming languages but when you talk about op what is that actually it should have certain features when i ask you about hero some superhero you have some qualities for that similarly when i talk about op it should have some features then we call this as object oriented programming and the basic uh, what is that uh, features here for op are this i'll just list out the primary basis for this op is object and class that is first thing and after that there are few things which we should understand something like encapsulation next one abstraction next uh, inheritance inheritance polymorphism these are the basic uh, features of op and we can add few additional features to message passing of course this is there even in uh, functional programming or c language something like that these are additional qualities again and dynamic binding dynamic binding all these are features of op any programming language having these features i can call it as object oriented programming i hope this is clear to all of you my dear my dear yeah. students friends brothers and sisters okay so brothers and sisters also nothing to worry now are you clear with this i hope you got some idea i, I obviously have questions here what is object what is class that's what we are going to discuss next two weeks next two weeks we are going to completely focus on this what is object what is class i'll give you every example every topic with practical examples and we apply everything in this coding we are going to apply i don't know how much passionate you are i am very much passionate i want you to be the doing lot of coding so anyhow that's the simple analysis of this is it clear to all of you my dear friends yes. now coming back to this what is an object what is an object let's talk about this first thing i am going to discuss about object when you talk about object you know about that it's a real world entity it's a real world entity object is a 
real world entity what do you mean by entity dear friends thing object is a real world entity like you know person place thing book pen everything is an object so i can call something like person place thing etc anything anything is an object etc infinite things are there in the world we cannot keep writing everything but that's an object this is generalized definition in general we just say that but when you talk technically what is an object then let me talk about it. an object is instance of a class this is a textbook or uh, documentation definition generally we prefer oracle documentation this is from oracle document it's an instance of a class generally many people they get confused with what is instance instance means it is something which allocates memory it's memory of a class it's memory actually it's object which allocates memory for class so when i say instance you can assume that instance is a instance is memory you understand this dear students instance is memory so that's all now i am going to talk about uh, what are the add properties and behaviors of object generally when you talk about object we should talk about two things one properties two behaviors any object in this world has this two every object has attributes or properties every object has behaviors so let's talk about that so next one object has what is this object has object has properties object has behaviors what is this object has a behaviors do you understand this friends then maybe you can ask me <coughs> excuse me maybe you can ask me sir what is property what is a behavior let's take with a small example suppose you take an example tell me an object of your choice tell me one object which you like very much in this real world so i think you are taking too much time to think about one object you have infinite objects uh, in the real world in the real world actually okay mobile okay when you talk about mobile what is this mobile has a properties like name how do you identify mobile with name color Price. Price. Okay. So all this, Monica, you are you are totally out of class. Name, color. Then what is that? Price. Okay. All these are what is that? Properties. Do you understand this? Sir? Generally, when you talk about uh, any object, it has uh, some properties like uh, name, color, price. It changes a bit from one object to another object. And the purpose of properties are properties are used to identify an object. You see any object where in person or you talk about laptop, we identify we identify that with properties only. Then when you talk about second thing, behavior, these are all properties actually. When you talk about this, sir, all these are properties which we have written here. These are what is that dear friends sir properties. properties next second thing is we should talk about behaviors when you talk about mobile when you talk about mobile mobile has some behavior could you tell me what what is what are the behaviors of mobile means uh, methods or actions performed by mobile could you tell me like you know calling messaging talking so all this browsing nowadays i think smartphone is has changing completely it's completely changing the world so behavior sir we don't need so many just a, an idea that sir while discussing while giving examples which we say that uh, what is that uh, all this actually i call this as bullshit actually 
but in general in programming we don't use this calling talking we don't use browsing we don't use such examples we have some other actions actually when you write a code anyhow we see that by, while doing the coding itself behaviors i'll just take few examples here just for understanding the concept that's all so what are behaviors here like calling next one what is that uh? messaging. messaging yeah basically we use this for this next one browsing, browsing. yeah enough right we can write so many actually okay nowadays you know because of smartphone you can write uh, at least some 30 to 40 actions from mobile itself are you clear with this now what is an object so object has what is that properties and actions or behaviors you can say and properties identify an object behaviors define actions of object what object must do is defined with behavior who will who will uh, define the behavior of uh, who will define the uh, action of object uh, behaviors what do you mean by that something like this calling messaging browsing of course it changes from object to object it is not same for all the objects do you understand that are you clear with this medium?